Hello, this is Chip from 5th Edition Visions, and I'm here to talk about my first trade at the local comic shop. And I know you're probably thinking, wow, gee, Chip, you must be a real newbie, a real tyro to Magic the Gathering to have your first trade. Um, but yeah, it was just never something I was really interested in because I like to hoard my cards. And also, I never really brought a trade binder to the games or to the matches. I just would show up, play a draft, play sealed, and leave and go home. I have a family. I have responsibilities. Um, but this time, people are finally bugging me, so I brought my trade binder in, and I traded for three cards that I wanted. Um, I traded a whole bunch of uh, common common rares, or, you know, junk rares, uh, but the guy wanted them for his deck, and I was able to come out on top with three expensive cards that I really wanted um, from the new Modern Masters 2017 set. Um, I was able to get Blood Moon, Goblin Guide, and uh, Arid Mesa, that fetch land. So all of these cards... Um, we're going for between, you know, 17 and 23 bucks um, uh, on TCG Player, the, the apps we were looking at. So I was very happy to get these. One, because I wanted the cards um, so I can put together a burn deck. That's a, a staple deck that I would like to have in my deck library to play with my sons and just to have. Um, and a Blood Moon is something that I want for that. And a Goblin Guide is something that I want for that. But those cards cost, you know, about 20 bucks. And as a father, as a person who feels some degree of res uh, fiscal responsibility, it's hard for me. It's so, 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 so hard for me to justify spending $20 on a card. I've done it. I will do it. But it's not something that I like to do. So to be able to trade a whole bunch of cards that were, you know, between a dollar, two dollars to be able to get these, I felt pretty happy about that. Um, so I can begin to put together, well, I already kind of have a burn deck, but this will begin to help um, make that happen. Um, so I just wanted to talk about that. I'm excited about them. Blood Moon, because uh, you know that the, you know, in modern, everybody's playing fetch lands, and then so you can get this, and that turns them into mountains. That's fantastic. Goblin Guide is arguably one of the best one drops in in red, or perhaps in you know all of magic, well, <laughs> Ancestral Recall, who we could invest one drop. Uh, but it's a fantastic red aggressive card. Uh, because, you know, 2-2 two, two, two haste, you know, you start uh, pounding in with that. Um, and then Arid Mesa just to fetch land. Um, you know, you, mana bases are important. So I was very happy to get those. And they are in my, my deck library now. So, so that's great. So anyway, let me know your thoughts on these cards. Was it worth the trade? Would you trade a whole bunch of junk uh, rares in order to get these three cards? I mean, they all added out. Uh, it's about, maybe this was about 60 bucks uh, of cards, these three. So I gave about $60 worth of, uh, of, of junk rares for it. Um, good, bad, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a th fantastic day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.